Today we're going to be looking at three unique lenses for Micro Four Thirds cameras. Hey everyone, Sean here with PhotoDeoxPro.com and today I thought I'd just make a little video showing some of my favorite unique lenses to shoot with Micro Four Thirds cameras. This first one is the Olympus 15mm f8 body cap lens. This is a fixed f8 lens, so it only has one aperture setting. It's a 15mm lens, which means it's a 30mm equivalent on a Micro Four Thirds sensor. It focuses from 0.98 feet to infinity, and it costs around $50 used to new. Uh, some of the newer in-box ones cost a little more. And what I love about this lens is how tiny it is. Look at how thin that lens is. It's uh, incredibly small. It's basically the size of an Olympus body cap. It's mounted on there. It's tiny. And uh, what I love about it is it makes your camera feel really compact. You can just slide it into a really small case and bring it everywhere. And it has just this little focusing knob right here. And it takes beautiful photos. Here are some photos I've captured with this lens. And what I love about this lens is how compact and small it is and still what great image quality you get. It's a beautiful lens to just throw on your Micro Four Thirds camera and just go out and shoot. And what I like about the fixed aperture is it kind of simplifies the shooting process. All you have to worry about is your ISO and shutter speed. The second lens we're gonna be looking at is the Wanderlust Pin Wide Pinhole Lens. Now this is an 11 millimeter lens, which is a 22 millimeter equivalent on Micro Four Thirds. It has an 80 degree field of view and actually a crazy narrow aperture of f96. Now this lens is no longer available, uh, but I got mine used on eBay for $25. But if you can't find one on eBay, the Rising Wide Pinhole Body Cap Lenses and the Thingify Pinhole Pro are good alternatives and they'll give you a similar look. Now this is technically not a real lens because it's really just a pinhole. It lets in just a very small amount of light, but everything is in focus. So you get these really abstract, weird looking images, you know, long exposure photos where everything is in focus, and it has this really great lo-fi feel to it. If you follow me on this channel for any length of time, you'll know I really like shooting with weird lenses, uh, like pinhole lenses. I actually made a video recently uh, showing how to make your own from scratch. But the nice thing about buying one that has been manufactured by a company, you're gonna have a much more precision pinhole experience. You're not gonna get weird jaggies on the edge of your frame. You're not gonna get the pinhole offset. It's gonna be right in the middle of the frame and you're gonna get a cleaner pinhole image. The third lens we're gonna look at is very strange. This is the Lomography Micro Four Thirds Experimental Fisheye Lens. It's a fixed F8 lens. It has a 160 degree field of view, so it's super, super wide fisheye. And it focuses from infinity to 0.05 meters. So it's good for macro shots too. This lens doesn't come by itself. It's actually included in the Lomography Experimental Lens Kit, but that kit is actually pretty affordable. Currently, it only costs $44 for all three lenses. Uh, but this is a special price on Lomography.com, so it might go up. What's crazy about this lens is it actually lets you shoot true digital double exposures. You basically throw this lever to activate the built-in shutter. Once the built-in shutter is in place, you can't really see anything through your camera, so you just kind of have to point and shoot. Um, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna set your camera to bulb mode. You're gonna take a picture in bulb mode and hold down the shutter, and then you're going to fire the built-in shutter in the lens. That's one shot. Then if you want a double exposure, you just point it somewhere else and shoot again. And you can do as many exposures as you want in bulb mode. So basically what this does is it replicates the double exposure look that you would get shooting film, you know, exposing multiple photos onto one piece of film. And it's pretty cool that you can actually do this in digital. And I think that's why they call it the experimental lens because you're really doing a lot of weird experimental things with this lens. I mean, double exposures are great, but if you can't see what you're shooting, that's kind of weird. It's kind of, you know, experimental and that's really what Lomography is all about. Okay, those are three unique lenses for Micro Four Thirds cameras. But before I go, I just want to let you know that PhotoDeox carries an entire line of lens adapters for Micro Four Thirds cameras. And basically what these adapters do is they allow you to mount practically any lens mount on your Micro Four Thirds camera. So you can put a Nikon lens on your Micro Four Thirds camera or a Canon lens or a Pentax K lens so if you have any interesting vintage lenses lying around or lenses from your other camera systems, odds are PhotoDeox makes an adapter to allow you to put those lenses 
on your Micro Four Thirds camera. And we even make adapters with built-in filters, like an adapter with a built-in variable ND filter to cut the light entering your lens, or a built-in circular polarizing filter to cut reflections. So if you'd like to learn more about the adapters we offer for Micro Four Thirds cameras, click the link in the description below. And click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos just like this. I'm Sean with Photodeox. See you next time.